special day today. Think of your wedding, birth of a child, all that kind of stuff. Similar to this, it's new bike day. Oh, I'm super excited. We're just pulling up now and I cannot wait to go and see what this bad boy looks like. Oh.
Velo Atelier up in the Midlands where I live. This guy, Lee Prescott, he's I think level four bike builder kind of bad boy. If this guy can't build a bike, nobody can. Let's go and have a look. <laughs> oh my gosh. Lee. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is a thing of beauty. Look at that paintwork on it as well. Okay, so this is the guy. This is my man Lee, who's built this bad boy today. Right. What are we saying, mate? She's a treat. I've got to say, it's it's you know it's the brand new SL7, um, and they've only just dropped, and this is literally the first one of these I've built up, and it, it went together so nicely. Right, much easier with the integrated cockpit they've designed on this. Than That's pretty, isn't it? Look at it. It's like it. seamless. It's oh wow! Look at these wheels. Just get a close on them wheels. Look at how pretty these new 454s are. Like the new sort of graphics. Can I just quickly give it a little rev and see the, listen to the sound? Absolutely. So listen to this, getting closer. Oh, come on. That is beautiful. Mate. I think you've done a good job there, mate. I'm <laughs> happy. I'm good. so happy. Good. It was fun to build. I think you should have uh, some nice rides on that. I hope so, mate. I hope so. <clears throat> Do you want to know how heavy it is? Yeah, go on. Have you got scales? Yeah. yeah. <sighs> now, bear in mind, this is a 61, okay? So this is the biggest frame size they do. So this is about as heavy as it can get, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this will be the heaviest SL7 frame available. That's not bad, you know. Eight kilo. Eight kilo. Pretty much bang on eight kilo. With, Two bottle cages. With the pedals. The only problem I think I'm going to have, Lee, I've got a Venge, mm. yeah? And now I've got this new tarmac. Am I ever going to want to ride that Venge? It's a tough call <laughs> because it's a bit of a Venge killer, this bike. Like, with all the uh, extra aerodynamic features they've added to it, like the cam tail down tube, you know, they've got, you've got your teardrop seat stays. So most of the really nice aerodynamic benefits of Avenge are now in this, but then you've got the benefit of it being a little lighter, the integration being much simpler and cleaner mm. um, and more easier to work on, you know, because that's the bit no one ever talks about is nice integrated cockpits might look nice, but at the end of the day, you do need to maintain your bike as well. So at first um, glance, it kind nice of looks like, a, it looks like Avenge anyway, doesn't it? At first yeah. glance, I walked in through that door and I thought, is that Avenge he's done there? Mm. But it's a nice, clean, classic looking bike. I just, they've really got it right. Yeah, beautiful. I think we smashed it with the components as well, yeah? They are a thing of beauty. Yeah, well, there's, no, beauty. there's no compromise with anything, is there? The SRAM red axis gear, gear set is... It's cool as you like, isn't it? It's just as cool as you like. You know, look at it, this, it, look, look at these. Look how pretty it is, like, it's just shining. <laughs> And it solved all the problems that ETAP had, you know, all the kind of the misshifts and the lag that ETAP suffered from seemed to be completely gone with the Axis. So, you know, it's brought it up to DI2 standards. I was going to drive home, okay? Right. The car is outside. <laughs> Do you mind if I leave the car here? That's no, that's right. It'd be perfectly safe. Because I, I need to take this home. I need to ride it home now. Oh, it's beautiful, mate. Thank you so much. If I could hug you right now, I'd hug you right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not allowed to do that. Virtual hug. Yeah, virtual hug. And wouldn't you know it, I've got some kit in my car. It's almost like we planned this. 